love math and science, and I'll tell you how I fell in love with it. On my second birthday, my father assigned me to do a math assignment because, well, math and science actually, because he had noticed that I had been doing quite well in science lately because probably it was just curiosity. Curiosity killed some cats, but it didn't kill me. It just made my career boost. I had to read a book, which was a scientific book, and I had to figure out the name of the book and the author of the book in one hour, but the cat Cats, the twist was I can't just look at the book's cover and be done with it. The thing was, every single instance or mention of the author's name or the book's name, unless used without context, it was blacked out and gone. How was I supposed to find this author? Well, the thing was gravity. I saw an instance of gravity in the book. And, and well, it was basically just how a cannon was shot on the top of a mountain side. First, it really just drooped off the mountain and hit the ground. But then, after that, it went real hard and started spinning around the earth till the cannonball started going in orbit and then hit an alien descending towards earth in the face. So, the thing uh, was, realized that this was how the moon worked. This was how the moon orbited the Earth, and this was how gravity worked. Now the thing was, so I didn't knew that, questioned it, if the moon falls itself. And I already knew, yes, it does fall, just in the way that the cannonball does. And then, using those clues, I connected everything together in my head, and it started all coming together. I realized that the author must have been Sir Isaac Newton, but the name on the other hand. Now that would be a very tricky, concept. Well, the name, for the name, I thought, hmm, there was a cannonball in that picture. So why set in the name of, the, of Sir Isaac Newton's own book, a most renowned physicist in England, be cannonball? Well, well the reason was he was one of the most prestigious physicists in New uh, England. So why set in his book be named Cannonball? I don't know, two-year-old minds are mysteries. I don't study psychology, you know, don't, don't blame me. But anyway, the thing was, that was my second birthday. And I found out that Cannonball might have slightly, maybe tinily been the wrong answer. It was actually Principia Mathematica, at least that's the short version of the book name. But um, well, I at least got the author right, so that's a plus. That day, I learned to embrace math and science, so that's where I really started getting inspiration for math. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.